my doctor's appointment. I'm about to go in. I'm a few minutes early, so I'm just sitting here kind of waiting. I'd rather wait here than in there. <laughs> but I tell you what, it feels really good to be able to drive myself to the doctor. And so I am very thankful for that. I mean, we put off getting another vehicle and put it off and put it off until, you know, we just had to. And I'm so thankful we finally did it. I don't know why we didn't sooner, but yes. <laughs> yes, the things that we will do and put up with. <laughs> but anyway, I'm thankful that I made it. I'm here. So I'm about to go in now. It is such a pretty day today. I wish that I could be outside enjoying that day. And I hope you're having a great day wherever you are and whatever your weather is. I hope you make it a great day. So I'm going into the hospital here and walking towards my doctor's office. And so obviously I've already went and done that. So I'll tell you how my appointment went. It went really good. Um, but he did add in two more medications, which I hate adding in more pills. But yeah, two more. And then he changed up a dosage on one of my prescriptions. So that's all good, I guess. And then we talked about Dakota. I just gave him a little short rundown of Dakota and some of his issues. And he said, yeah, he will see him and told the nurse to make him an appointment. And so he now has an appointment for about mid-April, I think it is. So that's good. I hadn't even told Dakota yet. <laughs> I haven't talked to him. <laughs> So now we need to head on over to Target because I need to pick up my prescriptions. I always look at the dollar spot. Well, they call it the dollar spot, but there's dollar things, three dollar things, and five dollar things. And so um, I didn't get anything from this area. I just wanted to look and see if there was anything I couldn't live without, but I didn't see anything. Lots of cute things. There was lots of empty space also. But there were still a lot of things there, um, you know, for Easter baskets and such. Which I don't have anybody to fix the Easter basket for. I already got the kids down the road, you know, peeps and stuff. So, I gave that to them already. We're done. <laughs> but anyway, um, just looking around to see what there was. Still more Easter stuff, lots of cute Easter things for decorating and such. And now we're headed over to the pharmacy to pick up scripts or see if they're even ready. So I'm just giving you kind of a little walkthrough of my Target here in Monroe, Louisiana. And yeah, it probably looks a lot like your Target. <laughs> Maybe just in a different order. I know that's what I find when I go in Targets and other places and other towns that it just not might not be laid out the same. But anyway, I'm walking up to the pharmacy there, um, but he tells me that it's not all ready yet. He's got one of mine ready and one waiting on insurance and then uh, working on one of Big Daddy. So... He told me to walk around about 20 minutes and come back. So I'm just walking around, giving you just a little glimpse of what's in Target, which I'm not looking at anything in particular, just kind of, you know, gazing, <laughs> just kind of looking from afar, not really close up photos or video or anything. Um, Try not to get people too much, but, you know, when people walk in front of you, they're going to get on camera. <laughs> and I try not to do that to, you know, catch them. But anyway, just walking through and seeing what all there is. I love walking through Target um, just to look. Just to look. Sometimes I go there just to get, just to get out of the house and walk around a bit. Even if I don't have spending money to blow, you know, it's just a um, place to go and look. But anyway, um, I just thought I would turn and go down that back wall. 
this is a records I don't have a record player but Dakota does but I really wasn't looking at that either just kind of passing by it lots of kids books and there's more owls with kids books and stuff on it too and this lady was unloading books out of you know been there looking at them all instead of unloading and then the but one of the little sections I like to look at that has all kinds of characters. It's not it's not the toy department, but it's up with, you know, books and electronics and things. And now the Easter explosion owls, where there's all kinds of Easter stuff. Such cute. And those would be that something like that would be so easy to make. Crocheting, you know, a body with a any color body with a Yoda head on it. And those squishmallows would be easy to make also. And the bunny rabbits are. You've seen people crocheting those. Lots of cute things. Cute little bunny rabbit with his back turned to me. I had to turn him around. I think he was five bucks. I turned him over to see how much he was. And he was cute. So I just left him there. But, um. Lots of Easter stuff. Easter decorations. Yeah, a lot. A lot of Easter candy. And I was looking, I was trying this edible grass. That green right there is edible grass. No, I don't, obviously not doing anything with edible grass. But it, those would be good for like decorating cakes and stuff. And so I was going to mention that to Dakota. If he needed a cake, if he needed to buy any of that for a cake later on that might need grass, the edible grass would be a good thing. I don't know what the ingredients or what it's even made of, but I don't know. Anyway, lots of stuff there. Um, I did decide to get a thing of peeps because um, I don't know when the next holiday is going to come up with peeps. And I'm obviously addicted to peeps in my coffee now. And so is Linda Jean's son-in-law. <laughs> I'll tell that story on another video on the crochet and chat tonight. But, um, that was a funny story she told me. And I saw that they had a blue raspberry, but I didn't get that because I didn't think I'd like that flavor in my coffee. So I just got a regular pack of normal peeps. They have all the summer stuff out and plants, um, potting plant, potting pots or whatever they're called. <laughs> Couldn't get it out. Anyway, just... Just walking by. They have lots and lots of stuff. There's no way I can look at all of it. But I thought I would walk down and look at a little section that I like to look at. Although I did not get one. Um, and yes, it's in the toy department. So I'm just walking along. Taking my time. Trying to waste 20 minutes. Trying to waste up that 20 minutes and find something to look at. And seeing what all they have. If they have anything new. I did see a few new things that I hadn't seen in there before. So, here is what I wanted to look at, is these balls. <laughs> I know that's silly, but I love those silly balls. You never know what's going to be in them, and what your surprise is, and all that kind of stuff. And now they have them where you can actually make food with this resin stuff, and it's just really cool. So, I'm just looking to see what all new things of that that they have. Because they're always coming out with new stuff with that. Ton, that whole aisle is just pretty much those balls and things like that that you open and you don't really know what you're getting. Although there are some cheat sheets for those balls out there nowadays. I just had to touch it. <laughs> Oh, ton 
tons and tons of that stuff. Like, I don't know who come up with all that, but they knew what they were doing. They had to know that was going to be a success. Yeah. So much. So much stuff. So here, I'm just I'm making my way back up to the pharmacy. So passing through the baskets. They have lots of neutral colored baskets. Straw and plastic. Kind of poking around and not wanting to go too fast. Because I'm, you know, going back a little too early. Anyway, so I did stop and look at the fans for a bit. Because I got to get a new fan for my bedroom. I had a big, huge metal fan. Like that black one there on the shelf. Um, but it stopped working. And so, I got to get a new fan. Because I cannot sleep without a fan. It gets way too hot. Big Daddy puts off a lot of heat. He's a hot man, and so I have to have a fan. I took my fan out of the parlor and put it back there for now, but it doesn't blow strong enough. I need a tornado, and that was called a cyclone, but I really need one that feels like a tornado is coming through the house. So anyway, just making my way back to pharmacy. They have, um... Target has surprisingly a lot of cute little furniture pieces. Lots of cooking stuff. I didn't need any of that. None at all. But they have all the matchy matchy cute stuff. I'm trying to be polite and not really get, you know, people right on camera. And then they have a lot of picture frames also, all different sizes. Poster size and on down. So there's a lot of people get coming at the end of that aisle, so they went on by. Thank you for watching. I love you guys.